The bland man. The bad man. The sad man. The Sandman goes by a lot of names, but the one you're probably most familiar with is complete and utter trash. This thing used to be the king of scout melees, but now it resides at the bottom of the same dumpster as the bison and prank videos. Bro, why is punching a baby, so you want to shut up? Bro, shut the f Shut up. Now I know the Sandman used to be busted and deserved to be nerfed, but I wouldn't wish this level of shame and embarrassment on my worst enemy. My second worst enemy. Call me insane, but I feel sorry for the Sandman. If you ask me, it has more than atoned for its past sins and deserves some form of redemption. So I went researching to figure out how I could save the Sandman. There must be something I can do to redeem this fallen titan, some redeeming feature, or some sort of use case. Well, I think I found it. Something that could finally make the Sandman good again. And no, I'm not kidding when I say the Sandman is secretly broken. But enough about the Sandman's balls. Let's talk about your balls. Yes, your balls. Because this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Because, fellas, I bet a couple of you have a jungle inferno brewing below the belt, so I and the people of Manscaped are here to help. And if you don't trust me, trust the 8 million people worldwide who use Manscaped products. Products like the Performance Package 4.0, the Ultimate Grooming and Hygiene Bundle, Behold, the Lawnmower 4.0, the Excalibur of Body Hair. It comes with a safe ceramic blade and a spotlight to help navigate your body. And shaving with the lawnmower is so fun, you can do it in the shower because this baby is certified waterproof. Not to mention the lack of cords and travel lock feature make it easy to take on the go. On top of the lawnmower, you also get the Weed Whacker 2.0 to trim those pesky ear and nose hairs and keep your sniffer smooth. You also get access to much more like the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Reviver Ball Toner Spray to stay fresh. The Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxers and Shed Travel Bag. To get your hands on this divine gift of grooming, use code the what Show for 20% off and free shipping. I repeat, that's 20% off and free shipping using code the what Show. Hey you. You do you like manscaped products? Sir. Sir. Thanks for the sponsor, Manscaped. Now, let's talk about some more balls. I can already tell what you're thinking. In what conceivable world is the Sandman anything more than complete garbage? What can you do to make the Sandman even slightly usable? I mean, the Sandman is such a simple weapon. You lose 15 max health, but you gain a baseball that can slow enemies. But the devil lies in the details. The lower max health decreases the amount of health you receive from health packs and also makes it easier to be one-shot, and that slow effect really isn't all that useful considering the scout is already the fastest class in the game. Not only that, it slows all classes to around the same speed as a heavy, so it's negligible for most classes and even still, you can completely negate it by strafing. Well, behind this seemingly useless ball lies a glitch that can actually make it quite useful. What if I told you there was a way to get guaranteed critical hits with this Sandman permanently? With, with the ball. Now this glitch isn't exactly super obscure, I've seen other people mention it, but when they do, it's only as a passing remark, or they shrug it off, or they get some key details wrong. So I'm gonna give you the pure facts. There's a glitch that permanently allows you to get a guaranteed critical hit every time you launch the Sandman's ball, and when I say permanent, I mean it. Even if you die, crit balls. Even if the round ends, crit balls. Even if you get auto-balanced, crit balls. So how does one achieve such a blatant exploit? Surely there's a complex series of inputs or a deep knowledge of the source engine required to pull it off. Well, chances are if you can solve one of these suckers, you'll be just fine. We have the arch. The arch. The arch. You guessed it. The arch. It goes in the square oh, hole. God. Step one. Spawn into a match. Step 2. Pick Scout with the Sandman equipped. Step 3. Swing the baseball bat and then launch a ball. If the ball you launched was a random crit, congratulations, that was a 15% chance you lucky bastard. Now hold on for a second while I wait for the others to catch up. Step 4. For the unfortunate majority of you who didn't launch a baseball crit, switch to a different class, then switch back to Scout. Swing the bat, and launch a baseball. If it's not a random crit, rinse and repeat this step until you get the ball to random crit. Step five, when the ball random crits, that means the glitch has already activated. 
Now, as long as you swing the bat any time before launching a ball, it will be a critical hit. This increases the amount of damage you deal from a measly and weak 15 to a median manly 45. That's an increase of 30 damage. That alone should solidify it back as the king of scout melees. But not only can you deal 45 damage, there's a secret stat on the Sandman that nobody knows about that sweetens the deal even more. One of the quirks of the Sandman is that if you hit a maximum range moonshot, the damage the ball deals is increased by 50%. Seriously, nobody knows about this. I mean, I guess I can't blame you. Under normal circumstances, it's absolutely useless, considering a max range ball normally does 23 damage instead of 15. Ooh boy. But when you get a critical hit, that 45 damage ball now does 68 damage. That's a pretty big increase from what used to just be 15 damage. Now I guess I should mention that you can also do the same exact glitch with the Rap Assassin, but considering that weapon is actually good without the glitch, I just want to give the Sandman its time to shine. So, I assembled a group of pals to harass people with baseballs and become the best baseball team that TF2 has ever seen. With Wade Boggs' blessing, we loaded into our first match, balls in hand. I like how the recharge is so long on the Sandman that you have time to run all the way back to spawn and it's faster than just getting a new ball. Naturally. Yeah, I think it's 15. Oh, no way! I stunned that, that Demo Knight before he could get oh, to I me. Got him. We got him! Let's go! That guy is probably not happy. <laughs> oh, no way! No way! I actually got him! <laughs> Bro. Oh, you got him? No, he ran off. Oh, no, he did. Oh! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, I got him. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Hit him with the double Bye, ball combo. Oh, the double ball combo. Come at me, soldier. Oh, pff, he killed himself. All right. All right. Honesty is the best policy. So I feel like I should admit that going into this, me and my chums were not hopeful for the Sandman. Will this make the Sandman viable? Absolutely no. not. <laughs> it does 30 more damage. I mean... Uh, I mean, if you get pelted with enough of them, yeah. Yeah. yeah if we maybe have if, we, maybe yeah. if we sync up three crit balls, we can kill a spy. <laughs> we figured it would just be a dumb gimmick we could mock in our silly video and no one would take it seriously. I mean, come on. How much of a difference could 30 damage realistically make? But as we kept playing with it and improving at using it, we came to the startling realization that the Sandman was actually kind of good with it. Oh, that's a ball kill right there. I told you this is overpowered. It all started when we began to realize how easy it was to farm points on the scoreboard with the Sandman, because every time you hit someone with the ball, you earn a point, leading us to top score with relatively lower kills. <laughs> Look how high we got this score. I have, I have a 61 score, but only 26 kills. Every single one of us. Yeah, I got 20, 20 kills and 61 points. I don't know how. Sandman ball points, I'm telling you. Then we began to see the other upsides and how much this glitch changed how we used the Sandman. Now hold on a second before you pick up your baseball bat and chew tobacco till your teeth look British. This glitch makes the Sandman okay, but it doesn't make it great. But just having the Sandman be usable should be an accomplishment in itself. So let's examine the new and improved, albeit glitched, Sandman. I've said it before, but now I'll say it again without it being drenched in irony and sarcasm. Being able to consistently and instantly deal 45 damage from any range without sacrificing your secondary slot is a pretty good trade-off. To put that into perspective, discounting bleed damage, the ball now deals 5 less damage than the cleaver. That's nothing to scoff at. Not to mention that as I was playing, I landed a lot more moonshots than I expected to, which means I actually got some use out of the extra damage and have probably been the only person since Jungle Inferno to do so. We're going for the home run. Okay, if one of us hits like a really long trick shot, we gotta like have an SFM animation of the guy like of like Babe Ruth calling a shot. Yes, I will commission an SFM artist to recreate my epic gamer moment. Oh, Babe Ruth calling a shot. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, we both got it. We both got it. We both got it. Oh my god! Do we hit it in tandem? In tandem, actually. And now, a recreation of my home run moonshot.
Using this glitch turns the Sandman from a lackluster crowd control weapon to a medium to long range damage tool with the added benefit of slowing enemies. And unlike the Rap Assassin with its damage over time effect, if you completely forget this glitch also works on the Rap Assassin, the Sandman deals all of its damage instantly. I found this makes it a good option for both engaging in a fight from farther away, or using it to finish off a retreating enemy without needing to use your secondary. Not only that, but you can pick the ball back up without needing to wait for a full recharge, something not even the Rap Assassin can claim it can do. Once more, the Chad Man wins over the Brap Ass Assassin. The whole point of this video originally was to point out a bug so Valve could finally fix it after years of it being in the game. But now after using it for so long, I don't want it to be gone. For the first time, I've been able to run the Sandman without outright challenging myself. So hey, how about we keep this glitch our little secret so Valve doesn't find out. So hey, go grab your baseball bat, and let's play some ball. It's an unlockable melee weapon. Dude, our balls just crossed. That's the testicular torsion combo. <gasps> And action!